Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Plain Not Jane. I am Plain Not Jane, and you, my friend, have tuned into this week's seven. This week's seven is a video series highlighting lessons learned and observations made in my life over the last seven days. All right, so this week, I am back with part two of living your best braid life. Yes, I love braids. I've been a fan of braids not that long, a few years now, um, but I have been a braid wearer for a good portion of my life. I have experienced the highs and the lows, the ups and the downs, the good and the bad with braids. Um, and so I shared part one of living your best braid life a few weeks ago. You can click that link. What side would it be on over here? Yeah, I think it's right here. Yeah, you can click that link to watch that video um, and then come back here and stay tuned for part two of living your best braid life. And this week's seven starts now. Number one, there are way too many brands and types of pre-stretched, pre-feathered hair out there for us to still be fumbling around trying to stretch and feather hair manually once we buy it. Just do yourself and your braider a favor and just buy some pre-stretched and pre-feathered hair. It will save your braider a lot of time and headache and mess. Number two, don't get your hair braided if it is not healthy. Braids are a protective style, but seriously, what sense does it make to get a protective style if what is being protected is damaged unhealthy hair so yeah um, if your hair is unhealthy if your hair is damaged deal with the damage improve the health of your hair first then go get you a nice little braided style number three if you wash them you must dry them if you decide to wash your braids and that's fine depending on the braid style you have can determine how easy or how difficult washing your braids can be but in any case if you decide to wash them don't let them air dry you want to blot as much as you can with a towel or if you have a special t-shirt I just use one of my husband's white t-shirts to dry my hair um, you want to blot as much as you can out and you want to use a blow dryer on cool to get those roots dry. It's what you don't want, and at least I do not like the feeling of long braids dripping water all over my clothes. I absolutely hate soggy backs. Like that just, it. oh my goodness. I would, I would rather just shave my head than to have wet hair dripping down my back. That's why I couldn't do maximum hydration method, but anyway. If you wash them, you have to dry them. So blot them, blot as much moisture as you can out blow dry on cool so yeah if you wash them you need to make sure that you dry them with your blow dryer on cool number four I don't care what you say tight is not right if your braids hurt so bad that you need to take a Tylenol before your appointment that's too tight that's that's way too tight now I understand that you want this style to last refer to video number one we talked about this we talked about this I digress but I understand that you want your braids to look neat and you want to get your money's worth out of the style I get that however if you're like me you kind of like having edges and you kind of want them to still be in place when you take those braids down so just because they're tight that's that's not right you can have neat braids without the headache the literal headache yeah number five although you are wearing braids and they are somewhat low maintenance they're pretty they're pretty low maintenance you still need to wear a satin or silk scarf or bonnet and or pillowcase to protect your real hair and also to help protect your braids. Rubbing even synthetic hair 
on cotton fibers or whatever your sheets and pillowcases and clothes are made out of can kind of rough up the fibers um, and we all know that cotton feels good on the skin wreaks havoc on your hair so even with braids you still need to utilize a satin or silk scarf bonnet and or pillowcase number six Braids are the perfect opportunity to experiment with color without actually coloring your real hair. Yay! As you can see, I'm experimenting with being a redhead. I think I like being a redhead. You know, I just feel, you know, really fun right now. But I didn't have to worry about lifting my natural hair color. I didn't have to worry about any damage or anything like that. Um, and so braids are the perfect opportunity to play with color or even give a color a trial run. Um, so have fun with it. Let's let's step away from just straight up number one and straight up one beat. Let's let's you know get into some get into some color action. You know, have fun with it. And finally, number seven. Avoid using product as much as possible so that you can avoid product buildup. Now most of the time when we talk about product buildup, we not talking about moisturizing conditioners and, and all that stuff. We talking about edge control. Let's just be real about it. I'm really talking about edge control. Now I love some good baby hairs and some good edge control. But using edge control every single day can lead to buildup which makes your hair look kind of matted up and nasty looking. Avoid using edge control all the time so that you can avoid edge control buildup. Now, some days I don't bother with the baby hairs. So to stretch my baby hair lay itch, this word if it wasn't before it is now, I wear my scarf around my edges. You know, I'll just take my scarf, tie that down, and then just put a bonnet over the rest of my hair. And then, to be honest, you know, some days I let them baby hairs just be grown and roll up and ball up and, and do whatever it is that they want to do. Some days I just let the baby hairs be as grown and as adult as they care to be. So just be aware and, you know, do what you can to avoid product buildup. All right, that's been this week seven. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a good old thumbs up. And if you didn't, keep on going and don't come back. Also, make sure you click below to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this week seven, cooking videos, DIY projects, and good old family foolery. So until next time, go where you're celebrated, not just tolerated. Be safe, bye-bye. Living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with no clippers. Living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with no scissors. I'm really not. I'm letting this stuff grow out. Let it grow. Let it grow. Let your curls turn into a fro.